I am back and welcome to my second fifth fifth day of Christmas video and I was going to do my five favorite products right at the moment of Lush. I have just piles of Lush I'm going to review. I know you guys want to see it all. Um, I've got just piles of the new launch. I need to get on and order. They've launched again. I need to, why order? I need to go down to the store tomorrow when I can pick it up there versus paying. I can pick out what I want and not have it arrive broken or whatever, you know. So, and yeah, I'm wearing a sweater again. It seems like every time I get on and blog, I have it on. Trust me, I don't wear it every day, but it just happens to work out that way. Yeah, and my hair, I was out on a Christmas tree lot. It was raining. Anyway, so let's get on with this. And then I have several boxes that are under the tree. They're spectacular. Now, there is one bath bomb that I'm dying to try. It's called Frozen. I've heard a lot about it. Um, I don't know if it's, that, it's kind of mimicked after the movie, but I've heard it's really awesome. I, I think it's blue. We'll pull it out and see what it looks like. And then I have stocking reviews for tweens. There's some awesome products in Sephora. You can get under $10. This bag is full. Um, we've got Bath and Body Works. Really cute packaging. How cute is that? There's, there's a body wash and a soap in there. I mean, that's really cute for a teenager. And then I've got mother stuff for mothers. And then, um, here's a dog I picked up. I collect these. They had one in green, um, green and blue. Was it green and black plaid? I was leaning towards that. Um, I collect them. They're up above there. I think I've showed you before. I don't have any large ones. But I thought once I get this room done, I thought it'd be really cute to start a shelf of my VS dogs. One of my friends, she has about 50 of them, and they're in every style, every color, and I just thought it was really cute. Of course, we're not going to play with them as toys, but it's just kind of more of a statement. But So I just put it under the tree, wrapped it up. I thought it was really cute. There was another um, picture on Influencer where I saw somebody else had a dog like this, and I just thought it was really cute. I think it was twelve ninety nine. Anyway, I got that one. I left a box under the tree, and then I have this huge, ginormous. This is Winter Wonderland. I haven't looked at the tag. If I open it, it's going to ruin my Christmas. There is a couple new products in there. There's a fling flamingo um, bath wand, and then there is. Um, the frozen and then there's a couple others so let's get going first of all my first my five favorites I absolutely love this Chris Dingle um, it's a body conditioner it's a lot like Rose Argan or what's what's it called Rose yeah um, the only thing with this is when it's really cold out um, and you want you're in the shower and you put this on and you want to rinse off and get out immediately and then you don't have to put lotion on. I'm one of those that you have. And I found that the Bath and Body Works lotions are fabulous, but they have so much scent and alcohol in them. They tend to dry your skin out more than anything. They smell fabulous. So if you want to smell like these, you can get just like a hand lotion instead of putting it on your body and use a better body lotion. And then use a body spray if you want to smell like them, because these just really dry your skin out bad, um, and then you just feel itchy. Okay, so here is the Chris Dingle. What it is is invigorating peppermint and menthol crystals energize your skin. That's the rain hitting the window. Energize your skin with a tingle-like Christmas excitement. Now, this is really cold I am not kidding you it is very menthol -y. so when you put it on it's really cold like in our bathroom I, I'm not sure if they insulated it correctly I'm trying to get warranty out here um, our jetted tub I can hardly ever take baths back there because it's so cold I'm not kidding you anyway if you get in a hot tub in a hot bathtub after a while or I need to put in a plug-in heater Somebody needs to come out and look at it. But this is how much I've used. Crazy. It smells fabulous. Um, 
it smells like it reminds me a lot of Christmas I hope they're not going to get rid of it it's very creamy just rub it on your skin it goes right on but you have to rinse it off because it feels kind of like you put Vicks on your skin it gets cold and then you need to rinse it off because you're freezing your patootie off so yeah um, it's kind of hard to use on a cold morning I try not to use this one I have other I use Nivea um, that's an awesome one I'm gonna do my favorites tonight too Nivea is an awesome one it doesn't make you cold and that one um, I've been using with my face serums. Now I can notice a big difference. Look at my eyes. And I've used them five days. Those face serums I reviewed. And look, these are going away. It's crazy. I hardly have any makeup on. It is just, I, I can't believe I had them that long and didn't review them. Crazy. Anyway, so there's a the Christangle. If I'm pronouncing it, yeah not cheap I think it was $24.95 it only comes in this size but this would make a great gift for anybody um, maybe not a mother probably a tween you know a mother might go this is just too cold I can't handle it but it makes your skin really soft and if you don't want to mess around with lotion you just dry off get dressed and you're done here's another one first snow and then they have one in pink it's in one of, oh there's lightning great um, they have one in pink. It's in one of the gift boxes. There's a couple more under the tree. I can't remember what it's called, but I love the scent. It doesn't have talc in them. Talcum powder, they say that can cause ovarian cancer. Don't have those anymore, but the only thing I don't like about this is I'm not really into sparkles. See how it leaves sparkles on your hand? Yeah, I'm not really into sparkles big so you want to put it on your body I just put a little bit it smells fresh clean so yeah I really like this first snow and then here are some products now some of the products I don't like because they're so stinking pigmented um, they turn your water just a crazy color and then I have to clean my jetted tub out I, ha I have a certain mop um, it's got a clean mop head I use only for the jetted tub. I have to squirt soft scrub in there because I can't reach it. I have to use the mop, you know, get the water, rinse it out. I don't have a handle to rinse it. I have a cup. It just is a lot of work. So this one is salt and peppermint bark uh, body exfoliator. And I use this once. So yeah, that's how much I used of it. I want to try the rub, rub, rub with the flowers, but this smells like everything Christmas. So if you exfoliate with this and then use this, you really smell Christmassy. And then use some kind of like a peppermint spray, like the peppermint from Bath and Body Works. The other day I wore it and somebody was like, what are you wearing? Because I'm completely out of perfume. <clears throat> After Christmas, my tray will be full, but... I'm getting by with what I have, trying to use what, what I have. So, you want to try and keep this out of the step away from the shower because if you get this under the water, this will be gone. And these are not cheap. So, I just rubbed it on my skin, you know, kind of exfoliated. I was going to go get a self tan, didn't, never made it, but just rub it on. And if you get it wet, this thing will be gone in one shower. So, you have to be really careful unless you want to cut a piece and I think it will crumble so yeah that's what it looks like and this one is called I definitely would suggest it for a mother put it in her stocking salt and peppermint bark body exfoliator and this is a Christmas this is a limited edition Christmas don't quote me and then here is another one the only thing I don't like about this is I'm a little leery on products that have glitter in them in the jetted tub. I don't know what the glitter is going to do. The jets just blow and blast, you know. And um, I'm having problems with using my products up because I can um, only use a little corner. And you guys know me, I like to throw the whole thing in because I have so many products. Well, I'm having to cut little pieces off because the other day I used a Big Bang. This is one of my other favorites. I'll show you how much I used. 
and I had bubbles up to the ceiling. I am not kidding you. It was crazy. I had to shut the jets off and try and get rid of some of the bubbles and turn them back on. So, yeah, these are my five favorites. I love this because it smells like Mars pan. So, um, is this a bubble bar or a bath bomb? I'm thinking it's half and half. I'm not sure. Anyway, the problem I have is the glitter. I just worry about where is the glitter going to go, you know what I mean, on my body. Um, I'm not so concerned about my body, just the female, um, what should I say, organs and, you know, you don't want to get a UTI or whatever, you know, I'm just speaking truth. I don't know what glitter is going to do in a tub, you know, in a jetted tub. This glitter couldn't be healthy, but I wish they would make them without the glitter. But it's beautiful. For a younger girl, it might be okay. A tween, she'd probably love it. It's cute. It's an angel. And it smells just like marzipan. So this is another, this is my third favorite out of my five. I was going to do ten. I thought I'd never stop. There's that. Here is my fifth product. Now, I used this the other day. This was crazy. This is a Big Bang bubble bar. And this is how much I used in the tub. Look at that. That's crazy. I had so many bubbles. I was calling my husband. I was like, you need to help me get these out. He was scooping them out, putting them in the sink. I was like, I can't turn the jets on because the more I turn the jets on, the more bubbles. And that's all I used. That's crazy. I mean, that is insane. So, yeah, it will take me months to use these products. So, I'm thinking maybe towards the end of the 25 days I'll do a giveaway. I don't know. There are so many lush. I want to do the Boxing Day. Um, you know, after Christmas, go and there's a box that I really want. I think it's called, is it called Frozen? I don't know. So there are my five favorites um, of Lush products. So then I was going to give you some suggestions for um, for stocking stuffers. You can never go wrong with Bath and Body Works. These are really cute. I was going to send these to my mother. But then I thought, she's not going to like the Twisted Peppermint. She's not. She likes the uh, Plumeria. That's gone. That's not coming back. So this is the Twisted Peppermint. I figured she's not going to like it. It's cold. She's just not going to like it. So I didn't send it to her. This is one from last year. One of the packaging. I think they went back to this packaging. It's really cute. Um, so I just saved it under the tree for myself. I'll start using it. And then I prefer the triple, the winter candy apple that I showed you, the triple shea cream versus this cream. It seems to be more moisturizing. Oh, this one is the Twisted Peppermint Shimmer Swirl Lotion. So this has got more glitter in it. It comes out, I have my rings on, but oh, this one's sealed. So it comes out, it's a lot thinner. I was going to send this to my mother for Christmas. I thought she's not going to like it. Just because of the scent. She's really hooked on the plumeri. I said, Mom, you're not going to get that again. It's gone. Yeah, I used to wear it to work, and people could smell. When I worked at the hospital, I'd work on the eighth floor, and they could smell me when I came in on the bottom. They knew I was at work because I just put a little bit on my hands and they could smell it. That plumeria was amazing, but it got old after a while. But I wish they'd bring it back. You can't get it. So there's a perfect, perfect. I got the bag at Bath and Body Works. Really cute. I think it was a dollar fifty. It's got a little to and from. Comes with um, the tissue paper. Just perfect. I put a couple products in for a tween. Probably better as a gift than a stocking stuffer. Perfect gift. If you have to draw a name, Secret Santa, although this is a little bit more than 25. When you get the three free, you can keep some for yourself. 
and four three. You buy three, you get three free. Okay, now here's some more stocking stuffer ideas, and then I will get into the lush. So I bought this at Sephora. I love the Julietta. Now this was ten dollars. It comes with a and the scent notes are pink tulip, green apple. It smells fabulous. And then it comes with a uh, nourishing body scrub and a hand cream. And then the tiny little, see the fragrance? That will be gone in a day. But I love the packaging. I told my husband this would be a perfect stocking stuffer. So I just threw it in the bag. And then I saw this. I know I reviewed this, but I'm just going over stocking stuffers again. These are for women. I'll do a men's, I'll do a kid's, I'll do a teen's, I'll do a grandmother's, whatever. They tend to like books. If you don't know what books to get them, go and if they're mobile and they can travel, get them like a Barnes and Noble gift card. You can buy a lot of get a lot of books. Send them a forty dollar one. You can buy well, actually you can't. But after Christmas they put their books on sale. So just depends on if you go to the Christian bookstore or where you go. So I thought this was the cutest packaging. I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, wishes come true. Of course it was pink. There's the back. I mean, how cute is that palette? And then it slides open. And then it's got a blush. Two at the bottom, which I'm not quite sure. It doesn't tell you. Um, a blush, it tells you a base. So this could be like um, nighttime glow. It's really shimmery. So you know you could put it on your eyeshadow if you're going out at night. Do like a smoky eye. And I often use my finger, and it works perfect. Um, if you don't have a brush, it's hard to do a smoky eye with your finger, but I've done it before, and it's worked out great. See, look at that. Just excuse my hair, it looks really bad. Um, the pink, I'm a little on the fence about this. So I have, when you take your Mac, um, I think it's six products. I have a huge bag out in the car. You can get a free lipstick, so I should have probably 10 or 12 lipsticks tomorrow. So, but you can't get the limited edition or the new launch. They have to be the regularly carried stuff so this was I think five dollars from Sephora how cute is that on a sitting on a vanity I think a teenager would go bonkers over this just yeah you can use it as many ways you could use the blush as an eyeshadow you could take a wet there's a Friday night this one's beautiful you could take a wet brush and um, line your eyes with this. You can take a wet brush and line your eyes with that. These are perfect. These two are perfect for smoky eyes. Yeah, there's a lot you can do with this. And the blush, you could probably wet it and use it with pigments. I think that would be beautiful with white pigments over it. So, there is that. Perfect palette. Very inexpensive. You know, when you're up at Sephora and you're kind of going through that cow corral, that's what I call it. That's where they have them all. And I was throwing stuff in my car. And then this. The Kat Von D. I reviewed this the other day. Um, yeah, I swatched the red on my hand and it was stuck there forever. It didn't come off this morning out of the shower. I was like, what am I going to do? The red is very pigmented. I thought, what am I going to do? I don't know if I want to put that on my lips. And then the nude, they're pretty small. The nude, here's the red. I will do a swatch again. It's really red, so I would not recommend this to a teen. Her mother would probably not like it. It's very, I mean, this is just barely, it's got a doe's foot. Look at that. That is really red. And it kind of dries, and yeah. And then this is the nude, not a favorite. It's just kind of a washed out nude. I could see if you were tan, but let me swatch it below it. It doesn't really have, I don't know, a color appeal to me. See it below, right next to the red. Just, 
I don't know. It doesn't really. This may be a take back. So, there's that. But you can find a lot of good things in that Sephora. Um, and then, like, let's see, they've got these beauty blenders. These are awesome. This came in my QVC. They're kind of expensive, but they work perfect. Now, I, I won the Frosty Box Box. I cannot wait till it comes. It's got a lot of stuff. And then I won the Best of 2015. It's got a ginormous amount of products. I'm really excited about that, the Influencer. So, well, I don't know for sure if I want it, but I have to send out 25 emails. If you guys are interested, start shooting me your emails. I need to send a link to your email. I don't know why. And then I think you need to get on Influencer and make a list of your favorites. But these are products that have not even launched until next year. So we will be able to try them before they launch. Oh, my hair looks really bad. So, here's the Kat Von D, the Sephora. I mean, that is just how cute. This is normally, the value is 47 and it says 15 I guess that's what I must have paid for it. But how cute is that? And then the Julieta, oh my gosh, out of all the Toka fragrances, the smells the best. You guys know I know my frag's good. I threw this in, this is from Bath and Body Works. These are shea um, socks, you rub your feet down with lotion, and they have the, the socks actually have shea in them, and they make your feet so soft. And these, one other thing I like is they have the little rubber things on the bottom. I'm going to get my mom a pair for somebody older that won't, so they won't slip and fall. All of these tend to get dark and, you know, if you're not wearing your slippers, it doesn't matter how clean your house is, they still get dirty. So there's the stuff I have from Sephora. Okay, so, and then I have Bath and Body Works. Let's open this one. I don't know what ever possessed me to open this one or to buy this one because it had the frozen bath bomb. That's why. And of course, the frozen is at the bottom. This would be perfect for a kid. It's meant to be played with. You, you can twist it and turn it around. The frozen's on the bottom. I hate to take it out. The top is a fizz banger. It's got, yeah, this banger is so white, and then the Frozen is half white and half blue. It says, this magical blend of uplifting grapefruit and neuroli that thaw into the frostiest of hearts. So, that's what the Frozen is. I'm dying to try it. It's a new launch. I don't know if it's after the movie. I doubt it. Okay, so there's that. And then the Spectacular... And then I have another box under the tree. I don't even want to look at this. This has this has a pink flamingo reusable bubble bar. A cock. That's the whole reason I bought this box. Um, Ocean Salt face and body scrub. It has a yet yuzu and coconut shower cream. Gorgeous. Uh, the comforter shower cream smells. Awful. I tried a sample of it. I was like, that's bad. The box is cute. Comes with the yellow. That'd be perfect. I think this was this she can wait. This was eighty four ninety five for um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten products. And then one of them is the Experimenter Bath Bomb. That one is very bright. It turns your water a chicken fried mess of purple, pink. It's crazy. I will review it later. But when I get in, your body... And one problem with our jetted tub is there's no shower above it, which really irritates me. They didn't want to have to tile the walls. So we have to shower in the main bathroom. So I have to get out of the Jetta tub, go rinse off in there, then I have two tubs to clean, so it's a little frustrating. So here's another, everybody can use one of these. This came in my QVC, now this is not the solid blender, but it's a complexion blending sponge. And these are coming out in the Influencer, um, Influencer. 
This one is a different shape, but they picked the shape of the year. It's not pink. It's a different kind of shape. It's kind of shaped like this, and it gets in all corners on your eyes. Um, you can go around. You know, I haven't used it yet. That's why. So all my advents I've opened. I had to get them open. There was just too many, and it was it was yeah clogging up my videos. So. Let me open one of these. Um, I think I'll open the biggest one. And then I have my Kiss Meow. I don't know why I wrapped them. I have another box coming. I need to get a hold of her and see if she can overnight it to me before Christmas. I love her company. So here's another favorite. I cannot for the life of me remember the name. This is a Lush product. I showed how to cut it up. It's in Tupperware doesn't get wet in the shower and it smells edible this smells so good and it's soft um, is this a massage bar yeah use a little piece in the shower and what is it called it's got the little bumps it'll come to me after this is over it almost feels like brown sugar but it smells so sweet I love it I need to put this in with the bathroom stuff but yeah, so there is six favorites. So let me get this uploaded and figure out which Lush I want to open. Okay, so another product I'm thinking of that I'm looking at right now would be to order um, for $39.95, and you can get this before Christmas, believe it or not, is um, the It Cosmetics. That's what I'm wearing on my face now. You get them in a nice bag like this. I know it's not a makeup bag, but this is what came in the first order. It's crazy. It came with a brush. It came with a brush. I'm going to do a tutorial. It came with this, um, like a palette. It comes with a highlight, a brush, and a bronze. A bronze. Really nice. Um, it Cosmetics. So it was 39 Excuse the way the brush looks. I'm just leaving it in with. And then it's got one for underneath your eyes. You no, know, um, it's got a concealer. It says to apply it with your hands. I just don't like to do that due to germs. I like to keep my brushes clean and apply my foundations that way. I think it goes on better. But anyway. And then it came with. I was thinking this was that beautiful pink lipstick, and it wasn't. It was a, I'm not quite sure exactly what this is. Yeah, I thought maybe it would change to the tone of your skin. Let's put some on my hand and see what it does. It does have a little bit of shine. See the pink? You can barely see it. See it on the side? Not enough to do anything. I guess you could put some MAC Snob underneath it or over it. So it's like more like a lip conditioner. Put the lid on it. So that came with the first order. You gotta make sure though that you get on to cancel or you're gonna get another order in the mail. Just like we did with the win. I hadn't even been through the first uh, bottle and we got another one. Then after you put the I will do a tutorial, I promise. Oh, where is the makeup? I threw it in. So it comes with, I got two of these. One came in my advent, the it, it Cosmetics um, Mascara. Hello Lashes. I'll show you the brush. It's a little bit of a wetter mascara, which I don't like. I've been wearing MAC Cinderella. I really like that one. It's of course a limited edition. Here is a um, Bye Bye Concealer. I, I thought this was a foundation once. I put it all under my eyes. It was really bad. I had raccoon eyes. Now here is another It Cosmetics. This came with the kit. And then um, this came with the kit too. This is the Real Coverage Waterproof concealer. Bye bye under eye. I'm 
a little confused why there's two of them. So it goes on really thick, and they say it goes on. It's a lotion. It's not a foundation. They say it's a lotion. So after you apply, it must be in a box. This came with inside here. It's more like bare minerals. I just use a brush. So you put the foundation on and then you brush this over it and it kind of finishes your face up. Of course it's in the evening time. Your makeup starts melting off. I didn't fix it before I got on and did a video. And then this got thrown in there. This is something out of a beauty box. Don't know what. Oh, it's out of the body shop. And then I've been using those serums. You guys can notice a big difference in the side of my eyes. Look at that. It is crazy. And this is day five. So these are going away. And look at the side of my eyes. If you go back and look at my videos, you will notice. It is crazy. Those serums are insane. On day 15, it's nuts. I told Anthony we should be documenting this. With <clears throat> we should have taken a picture of the first day with no makeup and then on the 15th day because it's crazy it's an up and coming huge so this first kit was $39.50 now they try and sell you a whole bunch of other stuff just say I want the first kit to your price $39.50 over here I watched the infomercial and I thought hey it can't hurt let me grab the foundation and show it to you must be in this box that I used this morning. It was in a brush. And I don't know where I threw it. Anyway, it comes in like a tube. Here it is. No, that's not it. Here it is. So I'm almost out of it. Bye bye foundation. SPF 50. So I've had this for about a month. It's amazing. I cleaned it up. It looked pretty messy. What I do, instead of putting it on my hand, I'm really into germs. I don't like germs. Um, I will go and put a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, wherever, and then rub it in with my hands. And then I'll put the minerals over it. And it's amazing. And this is in medium. And I'm pretty fair. They said medium works for pretty much everybody. So it comes with this nice bag. Yeah. So between that, the wind, I need to get my hair colored. And I think I'm going to grow my hair out long again. It's gorgeous when it's long. Anthony wants it long. I don't know. We'll see. So um, they can always use brushes. This is fabulous. This is a uh, misty something. Came in a beauty box. Never used it. And then there is the brush cleaner. Now MAC has one, but it's just very expensive. I like the solid blender. Let me grab it real quick. I have so many ideas for stocking stuffers. It's crazy. Now these are for tweens. There's mini boxes. They love those. You can get on. I got a chocolate box once. It was awesome. Everything in it was everything in it was chocolate. And then I have this. It was pink. I got it from Forever 21. It's really cute. Everything in it is new. Everything. So I have the Lady Gaga nails I will never wear. Anybody's interested in buying these, they were quite expensive. I am up for selling them. So, yeah, they came with my Lady Gaga frig. And then I love these tinties. These are on my Instagram. I love them. You can go to their website and order them from Royal Apothic. And they have the body cream. Yeah. I'm really into Etsy though. Kiss Meow is my favorite company. I love it. I'm going to get on and place an order right now and see if she can get it to me before Christmas. So everything in here is, yeah, here's a macaroon. I keep this by my bed. This came in a mini box. It's grape. I was hoping I'd get a pink one. It's good to put on your lips after you wash your face. 
Yeah, everything in here is, is new. Here's Tokyo Milk. I got out and ordered this because I knew it wouldn't come in my glossy box, and it didn't. It's a beautiful, beautiful packaging. It looked nice sitting out on your vanity. I'd leave it in the box. Look at the box. Rose water. It smells a little bit like rose, but not bad. Lip balm. Just you always want to condition your lips before you go to bed because you wear lipstick all day. So there's another good idea. Um, Mimi boxes are where it's at. Here is pink. You can use it as a blush. It's a beautiful color. As a cream blush, a lipstick. Um, yeah. Sweet recipe cupcake all over color. And this is from Ed Tude House. Um, yeah, strawberry chiffon cake. And the rest is in the uh, Japanese or whatever. So, and then I've got argan oils. This is awesome. This is a lemon pour stick. If you're having trouble with your pores, you just take this out. It smells fabulous. Just pull it off, wind it out. Just put it on your pores like this before you go to bed. I'm gonna make my face look really bad. Can't really notice it. Rub it in. Of course, you if you're using the the serums, I highly suggest trying those. They're not real as as expensive as as I said they were on Amazon. There's another place that sells the the serums. One of them comes in a cream. And one comes in a liquid. I would much rather have the cream versus the two liquids because you have to use a moisturizer afterwards. But look at the difference it's made in my eyes. It's crazy. I mean, look. Look at the. I have no crow's feet on the side. And this is five days. That is crazy. I hardly have any makeup on. I mean, it's crazy. As long as I can get rid of these laugh lines, I will be thrilled. I mean, thrilled. And I asked Anthony, I said, well, will I have to keep using it? He's like, well, of course. Once you quit using it, they'll come back. Fine. Anyway, so this is stuffed full of just, they had really cute nail files at Bath and Body Works. They had, here's CC cream. I have boxes and boxes of stuff from Mimi Box. These are all out of, this is from a, from a boodle box, the bracelet. That would have looked cute with what I had on today. Anyway, um, I'm going to do some DIYs on what to use, how to use your candle, empty candles. This is a small one. I put earrings in it. But I will show you how to put candy in them and tie them with a ribbon. I'll show you how to do the hangers. Here is a figs and rouge balm. 100% organic. The smell is not my favorite. I like the packaging though. So there's the packaging. Anyway, I don't want to go through this all. This came in a, this is sweet cotton. This was, this was in Sam Shoemaker's or sh it was in her, um, it's like a spray to set your makeup. Spray it on. Just kind of feels, makes it feel set. And kind of moisturizes your face, and it smells like sweet cotton, sebum, clear powder, and mist. So, yeah, there's everything in there. I mean, there is so much stuff in here. I couldn't go through it all. Here is a, yeah, I have a beautiful. These are for your shoes. I have a gorgeous, um, green. It's made by Sephora, if I can find it. It's a green glitter um, with the primer all-in-one that you put on your eyelids for, like if you're going to a Christmas party. Here is a Bare Minerals eyeshadow. It was a sample. I don't know where I got it. It's a very tiny. It'd make a great stock, stocking stuffer for a teenager. It's just a really tiny pink and purple. You know, they can carry it in their purse, whatever. Just, I mean, they can use, probably use that up in a week, but it's just really cute. Bare minerals. And it tells them how to, how to do different looks. And then once they fall in love with it, 
It's got all the different colors on the front. So there are some ideas for stocking stuffers. Always go with Bragg's. You've got the Viva. You've got the Terry Muggler. I love that. The Angel, the Jimmy Choo. It all depends on if they like the soft. There's the Ariana Grande. That's more soft. It's a light pink. It comes with the paint with the fuzzy um, atomizer ball that mists it on lightly. Um, and I mine the one that's under the tree came in a beautiful pink leather box. Beautiful. So once you guys see that, you're gonna die. So let me get this uploaded, and then I will decide which blush I'm gonna review. I hate to open this because I wanted to save it for Christmas. So yeah, this is ginormous. We need to get on and place another order. It's probably I'll just have to go to the store. It's right down the street. Well, I'm not down the street anymore. I keep forgetting. This box is small. Yeah. This one is a fizz banger. Anthony loves this. I'll probably put it in stocking. It's no, it's an able bath. Sorry. He likes the ones that are like one tone. This one is crazy. I'm scared to use this one in the bathtub. This one is called Intergalactic. That is insane. Yeah, the colors, I can't imagine. I just don't want to get it in my jets, in the tub. So, yeah. If you guys can see how much lush fortune cookie soap, I don't even have it all in here. A lot of it's in the bedroom. And I, I bought him a Vizio TV for Christmas if you didn't see it under the tree. It's, it's 39 inch. So I need to find a white armoire within four days and get it here. Yeah. So I went to a website on Influencer and I found the armoire that I want. And she said she got it at a thrift store for $80 while well, I'm in search of this armoire. She didn't know the brand of it, but I'm going to find it. But anyway, I will get this uploaded. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back with another video. I think you can only upload three videos a day. I don't know where I heard that on um, YouTube. I need to get this wiped off. And then let me show you real quick. Move this down. There is all the mush on the floor. Yeah, it's crazy. It is piled, stacked. Look at all that mush. So, crazy. And then let me grab my Mimi box. <laughs> These are all Mimi box products. I need to do a giveaway before they get old. Look at this. It's insane. These are all face creams. Yeah, argon oils for your hair. Face creams, face masks, crazy nails. I mean, here's a tart. Um, Maracujula bronzing serum. It's supposed to turn your face brown. Here's a. I got. I bought a chocolate pack. Here's a cocoa pack. Put it on your face. Yeah, there's just there's a crazy amount. Here's a carbonated. I love this clay mask. Carbonated tea. Carbonated Ted bubble clay mask, and I've used a lot of this. Um, it's not real attractive, but it really bubbles on your face. It's gray, and but since I'm using those serums, I'm trying to try only use the serums. I don't want to wash them off. I really love this one. This is pink, the pink cream. You'd think it'd be a cream, but it's not. It, it's more like, well, almost looks like jello. They call it sleeping cream. Um, Japanese people are really into their skin. That's why their skin always looks so beautiful. Here's another Roseberry Sleeping Pack, Rose Water, this cream. Yeah, so you can never go wrong with a ordering a Mimi box for, for a teenager. Here's a chocolate one. This this came with a chocolate one. It's a cocoa and cream facial scrub by Nisha. Smells fabulous. 
and then there's an Oreo and cookie. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Then there's an Oreo and cookie hand cream that came in the chocolate box. So yeah, just go to MimiBox.com. Make sure you mention I sent you. Here's a really cute, this has little fairies. This is a sleeping cream. But there are no directions. You need to include the English directions. So before I make this video any longer, these things I picked up at Ulta, Pleasant Plum, they had like five for five dollars. They had face wipes. Um, there's uh, a mint lip gloss. There's, yeah, it's just crazy. Here, I love this. This is a one step cleansing water to wipe your makeup off. This came in a um, mini box. I just quit ordering them because I, I got just too many products. Um, gave them away. Here is a awesome glow glow balm. And this is kind of a greasy um, balm. Yeah, you can see it kind of goes on greasy. But I sent my mom a lot of these products for Christmas. She said she needed face creams. I said, I've got them. Anyway, so here is a toner. And then, yeah, they send you these cards. There's a buttercream lip mask from, by, from Samantha Schumerman. I love it. These are all in English, so you know what you're using. You need to save the cards, otherwise without the cards. And then she had some... Um, she sent three different colors of pigments. I will review those. Those are down in my makeup. Here's a sleeping pack. It's crazy. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in any of these Mimi products, let me know. I mean, it's crazy. There's so many. Here's a, here's a anti-cellulite booster. I don't have cellulite, but I hear it works. It's amazing. It's full. Never been used. I mean, this stuff's just gonna go to waste. So, here's a steam pour pack. Uh, it looks like I used that, but this stuff is amazing. I'll put it on and get in the jetted tub, and it kind of soaks into your skin. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be back with another video. Uh, maybe I'll take you out in the living room and show you our new tree. It is beautiful. I will never buy another Noble again. I will always buy a Fraser. This tree is gorgeous. And for her to give it to me, I was like, I was just in tears. And she's like, oh, don't cry. This Majesty, I think, came in a glossy box. This is like an Argon Oil Therapy Spray. You just take it on dry, dry skin, dry skin, dry hair, spray it, and your hair just kind of my hair was really curly this morning and still like until I stood on a Christmas tree lot and got rained on. But anyway, so yeah, we have a lot of mini box. Here is a snake venom. I don't know. B detox control cream. Yeah. These creams are amazing though. So and then I have a mad and mac. Uh, she went on a business from Etsy. This is a soap, uh, oatmeal soap. Yeah, there are so many things in here. This is a soap by Sarah Lyman Cilantro Handmade Lotion Stick. Yeah, before I make this video too long, there is so much stuff in here. Between BS boxes and, yeah, I can't keep up with it. But, this, but I think my favorite box that I ever got from Mimi box was a chocolate box. Everything in it was chocolate. It was awesome. And then I got a candy box. Everything that came in it was candy scented. But they were all beauty products. So yeah. I mean I ordered so many boxes. There was a Christmas box. I cleaned these two out. These were face creams. And now I put salt and pepper in them. And they're in our kitchen. They're really cute. They're apples that unscrew. I thought those would be cute. I cleaned them out, sanitized them, put them in the dishwasher, and I put salt and pepper in them. So when I'm cooking, I just unscrew them, take a pinch of pepper out, and salt. Anyway, another DIY. So, but you have to save these, otherwise you won't have a clue on what you're doing. So, 
I should probably get on there. My last Mimi box I ordered last Christmas, they lost. So I haven't ordered since then. I was a little, well, ticked off to say the least. But I paid a lot of money for it. Here's Inso Bow. I think this came with the Samantha Schumerman. It's amazing face cream. See a lot of them I've tried and I need to finish using. I can't just try one and throw it in. This is awesome. This came in a glossy box. This is Argon Oil. So yeah, there's a lot of ideas for stocking stuffers. You can never go wrong. Ulta has a huge bin where you can go and get five products, I think for five or ten dollars. You can get hair ties, I mean anything you need. Bath products, philosophy, yeah. So check it out. Anyway, if you have any questions I can help you, I will get this uploaded. I will see you in a few minutes with another video. Sub, 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 give me a thumbs up, and maybe we will go through this lush. It's crazy. And I will take you out on a tour of our new tree. It is beautiful, the Fraser. You guys saw it on my Instagram. If you haven't, go to my Instagram and look at it. I showed you before and after, and it was just so perky and green. And the other one was just dying. I'm at 51 minutes. I had to get this uploaded. Love you all. Sub, sub, sub. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you later. Bye.